Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another mascara video for you all and I am going to be testing out mascaras from two different brands this time. This was actually a suggestion from one of my followers uh, on Snap, well on here, but she sent me a message on Snap, Sabrina, so thank you so much for this recommendation. She knew that I had these two mascaras so she was like, why not try the two and compare them in a video. Um, you guys know that I did a L'Oreal uh, mascara testing video, I tried two L'Oreal mascaras. Um, and you guys seem to really like it and I really enjoy doing that video so I thought it was a really good idea to do this one as well um, because it's even more exciting because it's two different brands this time so I'm really really excited to try these two out so the first mascara I'm going to be testing out is the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara and the other one is the new NYX worth the hype mascara. So please mind my makeup because I have had it on all day. Um, it's holding up pretty well. I'm wearing the LA Girl BB cream and I actually really love it because it makes my skin looks it makes my skin look softer than it actually is and I really really am enjoying it. On the NYX worth the hype mascara it says it's volumizing and lengthening. On the back it says nothing. <laughs> And on the Maybelline one, it doesn't even say anything, but apparently it gives volume, lengthens, and conditions. Literally, the Maybelline one has coconut infused in it, and it literally smells like a coconut lotion. Um, so I'm, as usual, I'm just going to curl my lashes. I am going to do the Maybelline one first. So I'm going to curl that one first. The brush looks like I'm going to like it because it's really clumpy and it looks like there's a lot of product in there. So I'm just going to put a bunch on, make sure to wiggle wiggle through them lashes. I have a proper obsession of mascaras. That definitely gives it a lot of length. What I really like about it is that you can build up on it, like it's not drying completely and it puts a lot of product instantly, like in one go, you don't have to like put a ton of layers on. I'm just going to let that dry for a bit and see if I can put some more on to make it a little bit more like thicker and fuller. Okay, we're going to move on to the um, NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. Um, the Packaging is very simple, you know, it's a simple mascara packaging. Um, the product looks okay. I don't know, I just have to try it, you know. I'm not sure about the brush, like, I could either like it or really hate it, you know. <laughs> so, let's try this. Oh wait, I forgot to curl my lashes. So with this one, it's mostly giving like length rather than volume. I like both length and volume together. Like this one, you can see there's a lot of length, but volume, but this one's very wispy. I'm gonna let that dry. The brush is actually really nice to work with. It feels like product is going on. You know when you buy a cheap mascara and you put it on and literally you feel like nothing's going on your lashes? I hate that. Like once I know a mascara does that, I just throw it in the bin or I just give it to someone. But with these two, like you can feel the product going and it's really grabbing onto each lash and combing through each of them. The mascara has dried, but you can definitely build on it, which I love I love when I can build the mascara again and again and put as much as I want to according to how I feel on the day um, but I'm liking this one okay I love 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 that one I'm gonna quickly check the next one I 
Okay, so I've just finished with both and I'm actually kind of liking the NYX one. The only thing I have to say is that it does feel kind of weighing. Like, I can see that... I, not, it doesn't feel heavy, but I can see it pulling my lashes down because it's a heavier formula. Um, so when I when mascaras do that, when it's dry, I kind of push my lashes upwards. It did take a longer time to get this with the NYX one, whilst with the Maybelline one, it comes much quicker. The Maybelline one does give a bit more length as well. So if I were to choose between the two, I'd probably go for the Maybelline one because it's just quicker. And I love the scent and the packaging. But it, the, the NYX one is still a good mascara. And I've also noticed that with the NYX one, it's cleaner, like... It makes the lashes look very even. In a straight line, whilst the Maybelline one, they're kind of going in all directions. Like, it looks more of a falsy with this one, with the NYX one, rather than with the Maybelline. So, I don't know, I think they're both good mascaras, yet again. I don't know, I really like it. It didn't give as much, They neither of them did give as much volume as the L'Oreal ones, especially the Paradise one. I just think it's kind of cool that the Maybelline one conditions your lashes with, like, the coconut infused stuff. Um, it has a nice scent to it. They're both affordable. Um, but, yeah, I would... I would probably go more to the Maybelline one. But I'll be definitely using both because I actually really like the result of both. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's all I have to say. I actually really love doing these videos. I, uh, it's not that I, I love to do them, but I just feel so excited to try them and see what they're like. Um, I'm really, really surprised by them. I was kind of skeptical about the next one, but I don't know if it's NYX or NYX, but when I went to the event, everyone was saying NYX, so I think that's how you say it. So anyways, I was skeptical about the NYX one, but it did a pretty good job. Like, I will be using this again. I've tried some terrible mascaras in the past, so these ones are actually pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering. I really hope you guys enjoy this um, video, and if you want me to compare any other products, let me know. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!